Hi again, it's Carl, and here we have a, another um, famous, I suppose, maple. One that's actually a bit hard to get though, which is strange because it has a really good write-up um, in on many sort of places on YouTube, on the internet really, Makawe Etsabusa. So a lovely, lovely compact form. I'm told by the guy who sold me this, that this is five to six years old. So it is a very, very slow growing tree. The police estate seems to have uh, liked it here and has grown a good little bit, I suppose, really, um, since I've had it for uh, two or three months. But that's quite typical for aces because they have a sort of spring, spring growth period. And what we'll see is lots of kind of leaves, almost like piled one on top of the other for a very uh, dense, densely foliated effect. Now, in terms of heat tolerance, these are supposed to be sort of fully sun tolerant. I think, to be honest, we can see that the tips of the leaves are getting a little bit brown and there's a tiny bit of damage there. I, I think once they're fairly mature, they would be quite sun and heat tolerant because the, the upper leaves kind of shield the lower ones. It's that sort of dense leaf structure. Um, but at this stage, I think we'll, we'll actually pop this into somewhere a little bit more shady. Um, and give it a bit of a rest from the full sun really. It's, it's sort of mid-June here in the UK um, so the sort of really hot stuff hasn't quite hit yet so I think that's going to help protect it. But just a delightful little tree. Um, voted in America a few years ago as a sort of favourite uh, Japanese maple. Um, small, dense, idea for, for containers if you've got a patio or a small garden. Just looks absolutely lovely, um, but very old mature specimens of this are, are quite hard to come by and, and probably quite valuable actually. There we go, another absolutely beautiful little tree, um, Makawe Etsubusa. There are actually a few variants of these as well, so if you live in America you'll probably find particularly uh, sort of sub-variants of these because they're absolutely so popular, um, but uh, definitely one definitely one to look out, to, out for. For any collection, really, it would sit very well under something else in a bit of shade, so that's good. Um, but uh, just a really nice cultivar. So take care, and we'll see you soon.